Hi guys, I'm gonna show you three ways to regrow nerve and brain tissue. This is really cool. There's something called neurogenesis, which is the creation of a new nerve. And it's stimulated by something called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, okay? You don't really need to know that. Now we're gonna go into how to trigger it, but this is what happens when you stimulate this factor. It's similar to growth hormone in the body, which is anti-aging. You can actually regrow brain cells. You can increase protective pathways of the nervous system. You can diminish and protect yourself against damaging pathways that cause dementia, which is oxidative damage. You can actually even build uh, synapses, dendrites, which are part of the nerve, increase memory, learning, cognitive enhancement, and overall mood elevation, okay? So the three ways to do it you guessed it, keto, lowering your carbs, because increasing the carbs will shut this down, okay? Getting the carbs way down, doing keto. Intermittent fasting, if you actually can go uh, at least 18 hours to 23 hours of fasting, okay? So just shoot for 18, I think that'll be a good start. Don't, don't start 23 right off the bat. But intermittent fasting will definitely kick this in high gear. And number three, uh, very specific types of exercises, not just general exercise. The top exercise that will help increase this is sprinting. Yeah, sprinting is the ultimate exercise to enhance and boost this compound. So you would do an all out, flat out, as hard as you can, 30 second sprint, and then you'd rest for 90 seconds, and then do it again, back and forth. Of course, when you're just starting out, Maybe only do it once or twice because you don't want to overtrain or hurt yourself or if you have a bad knee or something. But it's the ultimate exercise for maximum uh, stress on your body. So you create this uh, stress by activating all these muscles and then you stop after 30 seconds, let your body recover a little bit. And then you probably wouldn't want to do that every day. You'd probably want to do that maybe once or twice a week. But that actually is one of the best exercises to stimulate this compound. I'm going to put some research down below. And I really like sprinting because it's high intensity, short duration. As long as you can recover from that and not overtrain, I think it's the ultimate exercise to not just stimulate this compound, but human growth hormone as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like helping people as much as I do, press the share button and let's get this information way out there.